what's poppin y'all welcome to this staircase of my apartment building um it's me l so today i'm just gonna bring you around with me while i waste time here where i'm currently living new york surprise um it's a long story I'm not gonna get into it just some basics about me what's up i'm l hernandez i'm 19 years old currently I am a BS Biology sophomore in the University of the Philippines, Dilaman. It's been quite exciting so far because I have been online for two years. I have like not set foot on campus as a UP student. I have been to UP more as a high schooler who was dreaming of going to UP than an actual UP college student. So let me sit down. Let me sit down. I am currently living here in New York until um, I get deported. No, I'm kidding. Um, until until May, I did not intend on staying this long. Um, I thought I was gonna go home by like February because I thought we were gonna have face-to-face -face classes in February, uh, but that didn't happen. So I am now vibing here, and it's been a crazy what last two and a half months, I think. It has been fun, I think, like the first couple of months because I had like a handful of friends here who I was able to like go out and see. But then, um, like the last one, Bella, is going home like tomorrow night. And my brother was here for a while. He had to go back because like his university, which is in Los Baños, um, is face to face. But, like, I guess I'd, I'll take advantage of all this alone time I have to go crazy and talk to myself in a camera and be an annoying vlogger who makes being in New York their entire personality. I'm saying that ironically now. If I become that unironically, I will hate myself so much. So the plan today is to go to the New York Aquarium. I love that place. I've been there before. I'm gonna go again. I'm gonna keep going again. Like, I like that place so much. It takes an hour to get from where I am to the Aquarium because it's in Brooklyn and I live in Manhattan. So, I have to get going. I will see you guys. I didn't account for the snow, so where I am right now, there used to be chairs and like benches and stuff. They took them out. Um, I thought since it was a pretty hot day, there wouldn't be a lot of snow. There is a lot of snow. And I thought it was going to be hot, so I left the house without my coat. Um, awful, awful mistake. The day might be hot, but the ice is cold. <laughs> they also canceled all of the shows today for the sea lion, so... I was kind of looking forward to that, but it's okay. I just came here to hang out. It's all full of like parents with their children because it's a free day. I have been here before with my brother literally last week and I loved it so much that I wanted to come here and hang out because it's free anyway. It had nothing to do today. My school starts, I'm filming this like Feb 2nd. February 2nd and my school officially starts like 6 or 7 but like they have like this weird two-week limbo hiatus situation I can't really explain it but like we don't have classes like, asyn like synchronous classes or deadlines for the first two weeks so I have like two and a half ish weeks to kill for context I really love aquariums because like recently I have started enjoying being a bio major um Especially when I started taking taxonomy, which I know taxonomy is a pain. And granted, it was the lowest score I got in all of my bio subjects. But it's fun because it's a period of life. So you get to like learn about species and what makes them special. And then you get to like see cool stuff. So it's awful to be in like an online semester where like a lot of the stuff that like are supposed to be hands on, you don't really get to like do slash see. So just being in an aquarium or like a zoo, but like generally I like aquariums more just because it feels like it feels cozier. 
and I like I like like marine life more. Um, I'm actually planning on taking my elective on like marine science, but that's like a story for another day. Uh, yeah, so just being in the aquarium is just really cool because like you get to like see the stuff that you're studying. This is the aquarium. It's for kids, but I am a child at heart. So look at the fishies. They have like a lot of like cool interactive stuff for the kids to play with that I have also played with because like I said I have no shame. Mind you, my brother is like 23 and I'm 19 and we were running around this place like we were children. Like parents were trying to drag their kids along to like see the cool stuff. And my brother and I were like, oh my god, look at this, look at this, oh my god, look at this, look at this, look at the fishy. What I find like really cool here is that this specific exhibit, I don't know if you can see the bird, there are birds, and my brother and I have been figuring out how to keep them inside the exhibit, so if anyone has to answer, please, because it's so cool. I wish we had more of this kind of stuff in the Philippines, not gonna lie. We probably do, I haven't been to Manila Ocean Park since I was a kid, and I know Manila Zoo got really like redone so i'm definitely going to check that out when i go home anyway play aquarium was a bust we're now going to go see this spineless exhibit i'm like saving my favorite for last because i know i'm probably just gonna sit there and like stare um and space out so the next is the spineless if you don't get what spineless means it means they don't have a spine they're the invertebrates so everything from like mollusks to jellyfish to um, they have like a really cool octopus that just like chills there. That's fun. We're gonna go do that right now. of the stuff since they're in tanks most of the stuff they're inside so if you're stupid like me who forgot to bring a coat um you can just buy them and still see all of the cool stuff without shivering to death this is where i hive with with my homie the lobster you know anyway um there are people in this building so they probably think i'm crazy because i'm talking to myself but it's all good um Vibing. We're gonna see the cool shit later. Oh my god, people are coming. Oh, thank you. So one thing that's really cool about the New York Aquarium and a lot of the other zoo slash aquariums, there's only one in New York, is that they're all part of what is called the WCS. I don't know if you see it in my wristband right there. Okay, um, which is the, correct me if I'm wrong, the Wildlife Conservation Society. Because a lot of like these places, like zoos and aquariums, or anything that features animals, they tend to be a little bit exploitative. So it's really important that like places like this also care about conservation and protecting species and biodiversity, which I'm very passionate about. I'm outside again. I don't know what I'm gonna do next. It's kind of a small place. Um, but I do have an hour and a half to kill here. The exhibit's close at three, at four? Four. Um, and it's about, God knows what time, because I can't see it. Uh, so I'm kind of just roaming around. Now we're going to see the sea lions and the penguins and the other stuff that are usually outside. Oh 
Okay, so that was the conservation hall. Honestly, all I really have left is the gift shop and the shark tank. So I think I'm gonna do the gift shop. Um, but honestly, this entire thing, it's super small. You can do it like an hour if you're like not the kind of person who reads everything. But if you're the kind of person who reads everything, probably two hours. We are now here at the gift shop. And I will report back if I find anything cool. Okay, update. There was like one thing that I wanted, but I didn't know if I wanted to commit because mm -hmm. hashtag commitment issues. So I'm gonna like circle back and get it. But I've been like eyeing it since the first time I was here. I just wanna like make sure I'm budgeting my money properly. <laughs> we're gonna go into the shark tank. Yeah, and we're gonna hang out for a bit and then we'll go home. Probably end up like going somewhere else so that like I don't feel like I wasted my day um and it'll be fun and I'll take you guys with me so there's a lot of strollers parked in the front which means there's a lot of people families inside which means I probably might not be able to talk but we'll see And that concludes my trip to the aquarium because I already saw the sharks. I was disappointed because there were so many people. Because I have some time to kill, we're gonna head to the boardwalk. Uh, so where the New York Aquarium is happens to be where Coney Island is. So that's really cool. I've been like dreaming about going to Coney Island since I was like a kid watching um captain the first cat the first captain america movie um where bucky and steve have like an exchange about like the cyclone in coney island and i've always wanted to go and now that i'm here it's winter and it's closed and i'm gonna be leaving before it opens so that sucks big time however they do keep the beach open <laughs> okay and this is our boardwalk We're gonna walk on the beach. If anything, it's just so that I can say I walked on a beach during winter. I'm really glad I wore my boots today because ah! <laughs> the snow has turned into slush. Isn't that so pretty? Oh my god. And there's the Coney Island. Was it like a fair carnival? Not super sure. That's the cyclone over there, that roller coaster looking thing. <sighs> Man. Okay, so I panicked and my phone ran out of battery. But that's okay because I have like this huge 30,000 thingy here. Um, but yeah, always care about our back with you folks, especially when you're on your phone a lot. And it's ring. Jesus Christ. I'm trying to like avoid the milk, it's not okay. Nice. Okay, I'm in. Okay, this entire place. Yeah, hi. Is this the white line to go to Manhattan? Yeah, this one. Oh, thank you. You can also take this one, but like this one is softer. <laughs> So people are asking for directions. I need to catch my breath for a sec because in Brooklyn, the subway is not under the ground. You have to climb stairs and all that fun stuff. Okay, so now we're at the station right before the art installation. Um, I'm kind of excited, not gonna lie. I've seen it like more than a few times but i'm still excited um here it comes
All right, I am currently in Chinatown. Um, there's this specific restaurant I was trying to go to. It's called Cabecera. It's a Filipino restaurant. Okay, I am now home with this delicious torta that my mom got me from like this nearby birria like truck that we love. My parents have left me alone. They went to Costco and I have free reign over the household, which is not like it used to be exciting to be like alone at home when you were like a kid. Now it's just like boring. So if you're still here at the end of like all of that, thank you. And um, I promise there will be more content. It is really just me goofing around and like sharing stuff that like I think are interesting. Um, I'll probably talk about like a lot of my interests. So it'll be like, uh, I have no idea. Like I said, I'm not that interesting of a person, uh, which is awful advertising if you're trying to convince people to watch your videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. What do they usually say at the end of these things? Oh, don't forget to like, comment, and of course, subscribe. Wow, share this video to your friends and just make them experience all the secondhand awkwardness and embarrassment that I'm feeling right now. Um, although it's firsthand. I'm awful at like closing these things, so just bye.